This is Jupiter Today for the 16th of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins today in quadrant one heading east near its eastern elongation. Europa starts today in quadrant four heading east. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant two heading west. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant three heading west. From 133 to 144 UTC, Callisto occults Europa. It's a 10.7 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.308 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.808 magnitudes. And it's a good distance away from Jupiter, 170.56 arc seconds. And by six hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant two, heading west. At 6.03 UTC, Europa goes through a perigove, the closest distance it's going to be to Jupiter in this orbit. And that's 664,906.3 kilometers. And then at 6.42 UTC, EO goes through a perigove, and that's 420,033.4 kilometers. From 6.46 to 6.58 UTC, Callisto eclipses Europa. It's a 12.2 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.299 arc seconds and a rather deep magnitude drop of 0.947 magnitudes. The distance between Europa and Jupiter will be 133.01 arc seconds and Callisto and Europa are 82.35 arc seconds apart. At 11.33 UTC, the transit of EO begins. And by 12 hours UTC, EO is transiting. I'm going to be moving into quadrant three, heading west. At 12.23 UTC, the shadow of EO ingresses. At 13.50, the transit of EO ends. At 14.40 UTC, the shadow of EO egresses. From 1633 to 1638 UTC, EO eclipses Europa. It's a 4.6 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.347 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.559 magnitudes. Pretty close to Jupiter though, 9.4 arc seconds. EO and Europa are 39.77 arc seconds apart. And at 1717 UTC, Europa moves behind Jupiter. By 18 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant three, heading west, and Europa is gonna be moving behind Jupiter. Into quadrant one, heading east. At 2151, Europa reappears from the shadow of Jupiter. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO has passed its western elongation. It's now in quadrant four, heading east. Europa has gone behind Jupiter and is in quadrant one, heading east. Ganymede continues in quadrant two, and Callisto continues in quadrant three. Orbital ribbons for today. The temporal and spatial connections between the four moons. These are the same orbits you just saw, Eo, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. And these are the connections between them. So there's Eo and Europa, and Eo and Ganymede, Eo and Callisto, Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, and finally Ganymede and Callisto. And then I combine all those and colorize them and remove the lines showing the orbits and we get that for today. Twenty four hours of Jupiter sky.
The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian three times today. First at 3.48, second at 13.44, and the third at 23.40 UTC. There was a new image posted. And there was some new radio data. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, four minutes, 2.4 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 46 minutes, 46.9 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun is 138.384 degrees, and that's 1.071 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle is 7.102 degrees, and that's 0.153 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 682,035,079 kilometers, and that's 1,579,205 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 65,800.21 kilometers per hour, and that's 1,408.5 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 799 million 384,703 kilometers, and that's 44,739 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,864.13 kilometers per hour, and that's 5.12 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. At zero hours UTC, the central meridian CM1, 229.48 degrees, CM2, 320.35 degrees, CM3, 238.79 degrees. Time of this recording is 0 hours 46 minutes on the 16th of March 2015. So please subscribe and like this video. And thank you to those who have subscribed and are watching. Hope you find this podcast informative and giving you an interesting perspective on a very dynamic system, a system that we know very little about, and we're trying to learn more. And one of the best ways to do that is to just watch it, see what happens. So you can send your images and your comments and questions and suggestions to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.